great feeling, you know. It's what you want to do, come out, get the first win, get it out of the way. Uh, what about your night uh, overall? I, I think you finished with 100 and, you know, 304 yards on the ground. What, what was working for you? Oh, you got to give it to the credit to the big man. Big men up front uh, kept running the same play over and over again, whatever was working, you know. Yep. Uh, it seemed like in the second half you guys really uh, focused up on, on running some of those runs to the A gap, to the B gap, uh, just kind of pounding the ball up the middle. What, what was the message at halftime for, for you guys to kind of keep trucking away there? Stay on your blocks. Uh, Coach preaches inside run, stay on your blocks, finish. And that's what we did. What about on the on the defensive side? What what was working for for your guys' defense tonight? You guys were able to, to bottle them up for the most part. Uh, our D line really stepped it up. I mean, I don't know how many sacks we had, but yeah, they stepped it up big tonight and really came in clutch. Talking with Blake Sater, uh, Blake, you're you're one of those guys on, on the defensive line. It seems like you you pretty much lived in the backfield tonight. What was uh, what was working for you on defense tonight? Uh, I don't know. We just had some good pass rushes, and we have four guys that can really get, get good pass rushes in. So it makes it easier when they're not just focusing on one guy. Yep. So, uh, what, what's it, what's it mean for for you guys to start the season one and though? Kind of a, a hard fought back and forth game. What, what's it mean to come out on top? Well, we knew they would be tough. They have a lot of return a lot of returning guys. So. I mean, there were some guys that picked against us, and um, so we just knew we had to come out and play hard and just drive them back. So, uh, what about on on offense? What what was working for you guys tonight? It, it seemed like you guys were able to to have a nice mix of running the ball up the middle, running the ball outside. Uh, well, we we got them stacking in the middle on our our A and B gap runs, and then all of a sudden we pop it on the outside and. That seems to work for us, so it's pretty good. Uh, what 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 can this team be capable of? I mean, you guys had a really good year last year, but uh, you're replacing a lot of positions. What? How far can this team go? Well, as you said, we, we we lost 19 of the 22 starters from last year. So, I mean, all these guys, they're hungry, and they, they want to play. They've never gotten a chance before. And I was one of the lucky guys that got to play last year. So, I mean, I'm, I'm excited for them. I'm confident for everyone, and I think we can make it pretty good. Well, I, I thought they played really hard. Um, you know, we talked about Clarenda is going to be super physical. We knew they were going to be big. Um, they came off a, a really good year last year, and what I considered probably one of the best 1A districts in the state um, with the teams they played. So they're, you know, experienced with the physical game, and so I knew our kids had to be ready. And um, I'm just fortunate we got to come out here and play. I know, you know, you never know at this point what's going to happen. We already get got moved back to Saturday, and so. Um, there was a while I wasn't sure if we were going to get to play. So I'm glad we got one under the belt to have a, a win is icing on the cake. Yeah. Uh, you're replacing 19 of, of 22 starters from, from last year's team. But, uh, you know, looking at this game, you really wouldn't have You guys played really fundamentally sound tonight. So that, that has to be, uh, you know, maybe speak a testament to the, the program and the depth that you guys have. Well, we have a great staff. And one of the things that they've done is develop the younger kids and the, the second, third string kids the last few years. and. You know, six years ago when I took over, one of the things was I wanted to start with the young kids and get them going early in elementary and even at the flag level, kind of teaching some of our techniques and, and some of the language that we use and how we call stuff. And so um, it's kind of been a ground up approach. And so now you're seeing kids that have just developed through the program and, you know, some really talented kids that just didn't get to play a whole lot on varsity because you're behind a Jack Tarks or a Luke Miska or a Christian Martins. And so um, we had some kids, Trevor Casey, you know, stepped up and shined tonight. Caleb Iliff had a huge night. Corey Coleman, um, you know, we always talk about we're going to ride the guys up front, and we rode them tonight. Yeah. Uh, and then on, on defense, that, that defensive line tonight, uh, they, they lived in the backfield uh, on a lot of those passes tonight. What, what kind of performance did you get from those guys in the trenches on the D-line? Well, you know what you're going to get from Blake Sater. Um, you know, he's a top-notch kid. Um, he's a great leader out there and gets everybody going. He's always in the right spot. But just the technique across the board and the understanding of the schemes, um, again, it's development of kids. And so, you know, we were able to shuffle some kids in and out and have some fresh legs. And both teams had some cramping issues there. And we were able to throw a few guys with fresh legs out, which made a big difference. But, you know, it's kind of the same concept on the defensive side. I always say we're going to ride the guys up front. And uh, we go as they go, and that's what I always say. Yeah. Uh, what were some things you saw out there that, that you want to clean up as you go into week two? We just had some some little discipline things in the first half. We um, we kind of we stopped on a few things. We didn't quite finish plays. We talked about finishing everything, and I thought the first quarter we finished things really well. And then the second quarter, it was like we took our foot off the gas. And what I said at halftime was, we can't have ten guys going. We got to have eleven guys going. And there always seemed to be somebody in the second quarter kind of took the foot off the gas a little bit. So just kind of cleaning those things up a little bit, getting guys on the same page again. But um, you know, overall, you know, we'll go back and look at the film tonight and. Um, I, I'm pretty critical on the film, so I'm sure I'll find plenty.